today is the start of Operation Save My Scully. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a long, long road and the recession on the Scully has been getting worse and worse. I've been trying like little things here and there, but nothing has been enough and it's, it's deteriorating even more. So I have to put all of my effort into fixing this and figuring out what is making it recede and getting it tidied up before it's too late. The Scully has been the centerpiece of my tank since I got it and it was usually always happy there. It actually started with just a little front recession when I first got it and then it slowly kind of moved to the side. Even though it was on the bottom of my sand bed, I thought it was maybe due to it getting too much light but it doesn't really make sense because a lot of times I see them in all different parts of people's tanks and I'd never really see it as too much light being an issue unless you're obviously like way, way at the top. But anyway, I kind of like pushed it into this side a little bit and I didn't really see a difference. And it's also very strange because the top is still super fluffy and it's just this side. I don't notice anything from this chalice over here stinging it. I don't know if it's, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange. Um, I feed a couple times a week. I don't really feed it chunks too much because the fish end up eating out of it, but that's going to be my kind of step towards fixing this. I want to change the positions of it a little bit. I think I'm going to swap these two and see if like putting it here way away from that guy does any difference. I really do not want to lose the scully. I know there's still a ton of tissue on there that we can save it if we just take the right steps and figure out what's going wrong with it. I've seen other pictures and forums of like scolies that have been like barely anything left and they've brought them back to life. So if they can do it, we can do it too. Let's swap these guys around. All right, there we go. So obviously he is super ticked off right now. Something that I hear a lot of people do with scolies is they cut off the top of like two liter bottles and whatnot and they cover the scully and that way they feed in there so the fish don't get it out and they actually are able to consume the food. I have not done that yet. I don't have any two liter bottles, but I do have like red solo cups. Might not work, but it's the best thing that I have right now to try to get some food in this scully before it's too late. I have a little cube here of like frozen mysis. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of that as well as I'm going to put some refroids mixed in. And just to be clear, I do do broadcast feeding with like coral food and coral nutrition and stuff like that. I literally just did uh, coral nutrition AB plus yesterday. So I do broadcast feedings. It's just, it doesn't get, I feel like enough solid foods into its mouth. I'm gonna put some refroids in here. Yummy. Now it's time for our two crafts. I'm just gonna try to cut the bottom off of this. Wow, that was much easier than I thought. We are gonna get this party started with some Paula Booster so that everybody gets nice and excited. He's still a little ticked off, but he's getting fluffier. So hopefully, hopefully he turns around shortly here. Time to get this guy in. Excuse me, fishies. Boop, 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 boop. All right, he is fully enclosed except for the top. Hopefully that is enough for the fish not to go in there. Here goes nothing. Giving them some of the juices and stuff over here. Get them a little distracted. So far so good, the fish are not going anywhere near it and the mouth is starting to open up. A little more for the fishies for being good over here. Yeah, there you go guys, bunch away. There is a bunch of the little mysis crawling into his mouth right now, which that is the most mysis it has gotten in a long, long time. Because by now the fish would have already eaten it out. Fish are happy over here. Scully's happy in there. Nobody knows what's going on, but we are saving lives today. I'm gonna just drop the last little bit that I have for the fish because I feel like that is enough for the Scully already. You can supposedly overfeed them, which I do not want to do. I'm not going to feed like this again tomorrow. I'll probably wait like two days. I think if I can get it fed like two to three times a week, I should be able to slowly bring it back. Two to three times a week like this, where I make sure that it gets the food into its mouth and then like maybe once or twice a week do some broadcast feeding to supplement it a little bit. 
hopefully that will put us on the right path. Maybe he doesn't like frozen mysis, although he's eaten it before, so I don't know. Maybe he was just ticked off from the move, so it's taken him a minute to adapt. Anyway, here fishies, it's all for you. Enjoy it, boys and girls. Look at this guy. This guy is taking so long to eat this food. I want to turn my pump back on, but I know it's gonna blow the cup right out of the spot, and then I'm gonna have to do the whole thing over again. On the bright side though, the cup really did work for keeping the fish out of the mouth of the scully. Not one of them has tried to go in there at all yet. Huh, watch him go in there now. But yeah, so that is definitely a thumbs up for that method. Also keep in mind that I do have my MP10 on, so there is still a little bit of flow in the tank. It's not like complete dead zone. Bucky, you can't get up from the table till you finish all your frozen mysis. I think we're close enough. Let's see what happens if we turn one pump on. Oh, bye-bye. It lifted, but it didn't disappear. Oh, oh, cause it's hitting the rock. So it's keeping it kind of there. Oh, no, the fish is already there waiting. I can't do it yet. I can't do it yet. How'd we do? You, look, look at him, just get out of here. He's got a little something something in there, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. You see, this is the problem. He had some stuff in his mouth. Now his mouth is pretty much all closed up, so hopefully it's okay, because this guy's still gonna keep picking at him. I'm trying to like block it, but I can't keep this tong in the tank forever. Phase one complete. I'll see you guys in the next feeding. Operation Save the Scully on day two. Technically, it's day three. I've decided that I'm going to feed it every other day and see how that does because I don't want to overfeed it. I also did a little bit more research and sometimes they have some trouble getting down those bigger chunks if they're not really eating and whatnot. So this time I'm going to only do the refroids as like a paste with maybe like one or two pellets to get a little bit of extra nutrition in there. Hopefully it takes this down a little bit easier. You already know we gotta drop the cup down. The yellow tang, was getting curious at the end of last feeding and was going into the cup. So it it worked for the whole feeding, but at the end, not so great. So hopefully he doesn't remember that. They just know what's up. Look how excited they get. What's up guys? Still going to drop the polyp lab polyp booster in there first just to get things moving. And then the refroids just with a lot less water. For the pellets, I have two options here. B2 size and the medium size. This is what I usually use in this tank because they're bigger. And this is what I was using in the nano tank for the smaller fish. I think I may do these just for now because they're smaller and will maybe be a little bit easier to digest. I'll throw these on the other side for the fish to eat while this is all going on and they get distracted. This is how we're looking today, by the way. Pretty fluffy everywhere, obviously, except for where the skeleton is showing. This is gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for it. That went well, he does not look disturbed at all. So I got some refroids in here and just already a little bit of water. I'm gonna put a tad more, a couple of these guys. Oh, that's a lot. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, the mouth is opening. Oh, it's working. Let's get this guy over here. It has slurped it down. No crazy reaction, but it is slurping it down. So that is good. We're getting some food into the scully. Hopefully this is gonna help. At least this time his skeleton didn't show and he wasn't all ticked off the entire feeding time. I think for the time being the refroids and the micro baby pellets is the way to go to get this guy back to eating 100% and then we'll switch to the mysis once it's noticeably healing. This month, we're gonna be giving away one of these three gallon nano tanks to one of you guys. Entering the giveaway is free and easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below. The giveaway entry window will close January 31st, and the winner will be announced on February 3rd. Now back to your scheduled program. I just tried dark feeding for the first time, and it seems to have worked better. His tentacles were out, the lights haven't turned on yet, and he did take down some mysis, so. That is a good first sign. We'll see how this does, and then maybe we just only feed before or after the lights are off to get them nice and fluffy like this. Guys, we have progress. The Scully seems to really have liked that morning feeding, and it is looking fluffy right, okay. It is looking fluffy right now. We still got that little bit receding. I think I've managed to stop the receding, like it's not getting worse. This is looking good. We're, we're getting some progress here, baby. This is the little secret mix we got going here. Some frozen mysis and a little bit of powdered coral food. Again, the tank is still dark. You see, we get a much better response. 
in the dark. Broadcast feed the rest. Good morning, good morning, fishy. Time to wake up. We get a much better feeding response when we're doing it lights out like this. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but looks like it's getting a little bit better. It's definitely a little fluffier, a little less receding. I've fed it so far twice in uh in the like in the morning where the lights were still out and it seems to have taken the food more and I think that might have been the trick that we needed to do. In case you were wondering, Tank is still thriving. Acro Gardens on point. We just need to rescue our little Scully. Also, look how monstrous that Tequila Sunrise Mushroom has gotten. Guys, I just dropped some coral nutrition in the tank and this is the first time I'm getting a reaction like this from the Scully. I'm kind of thinking I wanna put a little bit of coral, uh, I wanna get a little paste of the Reefroids to give it to it now while it's out and ready to to rumble here. Made it a little too watery, but here goes nothing. Get away, bro. We have not gotten a reaction like that from this thing before. So it's starting to take some food, which is good. Very, very good. Nom, 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 nom. Guys, we figured it out. It was just starving. Super sad to say, but apparently it's the truth. He just wasn't eating enough. Look how fluffy he is right now. And it looks like the receding is much less. You could tell by comparing this like little red stripe, it's fluffing over now compared to the beginning shot. Yeah, we are on the right track right now. It just wasn't taking in food. It, I must have thought it was, but it just wasn't taking it in. Now that it's actually accepting food with that little trick that we got, we should be all right. Hey, check out that tequila sunrise mushroom thing is looking nice. I have been feeding it every other day. I was doing the mysis. Now I'm mixing that in a little bit with like one day might be broadcast feeding. Cause the problem is I'm starting to get like some sign on my rocks because it's a lot of feeding. So all my levels are most likely going up. I haven't tested. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to be cautious of that to not like nuke everything else in the tank by overfeeding. But at the same time, I'm trying to feed the scoli. So it's kind of like a, a little balancing act I'm playing right now. Supposedly a lot of people do like one or two times feeding a week once it's it's a healthy scully. I mean, I guess I just messed up thinking that it was getting food in the broadcast feeding and it wasn't really eating. That's what it seems like to me. It seems like it was just hungry. By doing those morning feedings when the lights are out, I'm actually seeing those tentacles come out and I'm seeing it completely taking the food, which it was not doing in the whole beginning of this process. So we're on the right path to recovery, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.